Hello traders and welcome back to another Fund the Trading Plus video. In today's video, we're going to be walking through our latest execution platform, which is Match Trader. In our previous video, we ran through how to purchase an evaluation with Fund the Trading Plus all the way to placing trades, charting on the, so on the software. Um, and we're going to do the same again today, but we're not going to be purchasing an evaluation. So if you do need help with, with that side of things, please rewatch the, uh, the previous video. The link is in the description. But yeah, let's just get straight into charting on Match Trader. So when you open the platform, this is what it'll look like. Very minimalistic approach and look and feel to it, but very nice and easy on the eye too. So we'll just start with the all, sim all symbols and the favorites tab here. As you can see, it's split into organ organized tabs, commodities, crypto, FX, indices, and popular. If you're an FX trader, all you need to do is click on the FX tab and it will give you all of the symbols in, in, yeah, in alphabetical order. If we wanted to add one of these symbols to our favorites tab, all we need to do is scroll to the right hand side where the little star icon is and click, yeah, click on the star really. So yeah, now we go to our favorites tab here and all of the pairs that you've added to the starred list appear in your favorites tab. And to view those on the actual chart, you just need to click on them once and they appear on the charting uh, on the chart too. So that's nice and straightforward. The top of the page, you've got a toolbox present with your balance, equity, free funds and your profit and loss floating amount too. Um, and if you wanted to change time frame, all you need to do is go to these little icons here. So we'll go from the hourly all the way up to the month time frame. Um, and it's very simple to use, very quick, very responding. So we'll just keep it on the one hour time frame for now. If you've got the candlestick chart, you've also got the line chart. You've got multiple layouts for the amount of charts that you've got on your screen. So you've got two screens, three screens and four screens. Feel free to set this software up exactly how you want. You can zoom out, zoom in. You've got your open high, low, close indicator box at the bottom left for those traders looking for exact equal highs and equal lows. So yeah, um, it, it's pretty much customizable to, to whatever kind of trader you are. They've also got some drawing tools on here if you like, adding vertical and horizontal lines onto your chart. Easy to add, easy to remove. You've also got a, a, a wide range of indicators which you can choose from, from Bollinger Bands to MACD to RSI. So if indicators suit you, feel free to add them to your charting software too. Now this is where it gets interesting. If you'd like to place an order, let's say you wanted to place a trade on GBP USD, all you need to do go to the new order button here and now you're presented with two options you've got market orders and you've also got pending orders in this case today we're going to be using market orders but pending orders is just as straightforward just as simple and this is where match trader really gives us a bit of user experience and makes trading a little bit easier for us so if you go to add a stop loss you'll see that a line has appeared on the screen this orange line and if you move that line that is essentially your stop loss so if you move the stop loss to around here that price on the stop loss will be brought onto screen here and with the value present and the same for the take profit you add the take profit and you can now adjust the take profit to match where you'd like the tr where you'd like it to trigger so as you can see now the value currently if price hit our stop loss is $3.30 and the value if we hit our take profit is $15.85 now that's obviously too small of an amount for a $100,000 account. So if you wanted to risk, let's say 1% of your $100,000 account, all you need to do now is go to your volume and start messing around with the volumes until you're happy with what you are risking. So for example, if we change that to three lots, we can now see underneath our stop loss value that we are risking three lots. So we're risking $1,000. And if price was hit our take profit, it would make $4,700. Once you are happy with your take profit, stop loss and volume values within this order, feel free to press buy or sell. In this case today, we're buying. So you're just going to click that once. And as you can see here, position was successfully added. So we are now in a trade on GBP USD for three lots with our stop loss and take profit entered, which is perfect. So as you say, that's as easy as it is to take trades. And then now if you wanted to close a trade fully, all you'd need to do is click on that button. But first, say you wanted to enter or I mean exit half of your trade. All you'd need to do is click on the edit icon here. You'll then get a partial close box. So right now, if you were to click save, it would close down the whole trade. So we're going to close half of the trade here. 
just to give you an example, so we entered three lots. We're now going to partial close 1.5, which would be 50% of the trade and press save. Once you press save, another notification box will appear to say you've partially closed the trade. You can go to your close positions tab here to see the reason for the close was partial close. And that's as easy as it gets. You can also modify your stop loss and take profit while you're in a trade. Um, to, to match so if you wanted to move your stop loss to break even all you'd need to do is click and drag and let go um, and then that will trigger your stop loss and take profit but for now to close the full the rest of the amount all you need to do is click on the x icon you'll get another notification to say that the close that the trade has closed and you'll be able to find those positions closed at the start at the um, in the closed positions tab here too and reason was user because we closed down the full trade so yeah, that's pretty much it with Match Trader. Very straightforward, very easy to use. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions regarding the software or how to trade on it, anything that I haven't managed to explain on this video, please feel free to add to the comments. We, we will respond to all the comments and questions, but this is definitely a step forward in the right direction. Uh, very easy to use. And I'm sure loads of you traders are gonna absolutely love trading off this platform. Because it just you just get so familiar with it from 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 yeah from a minute one really very straightforward and easy to use, and the risk management feature is good also. Um, in the second part of this video, I'm going to be walking through how to use the mobile app version of Match Trader via GUI Trades. Um, so we've got a bit of a screen recording and just myself um, talking over it. But as you'll see uh, in the minute. It's pretty similar to executing off the off the uh, URL version. So yeah, stay tuned around if you want to execute off the mobile app. But for now, thank you for watching this part. And um, yeah, we'll take you on to the mobile version now. So guys, by this point, you have downloaded GUI Trade from the App Store or the Google Play Store, depending on which um, device that you use. And as you can see, once you do log on to the app and you've added your email and password, you can see... Uh, that the layout is pretty similar to the URL version. You've got all of your favorites and all symbols, just as you do on the URL version. You can go to your positions, uh, history tab as well, and see all of your closed positions from the last seven days all the way back to the last 365 days. If we click on GBPUSD now, you can see the chart has appeared on the screen. And you've also got the, the options to buy and sell. Just as we did on the URL version, you can enter stop losses and take profit levels using the movable lines on the chart. In this case, you can see we've added the stop loss and added the take profit. And we are now just adjusting the volume size to match with what we are willing to risk on this trade. Once you've done that, we have entered a buy trade in this example. And as you can see now, we've, we can also zoom into the full chart mode. And we can see our buy entry there with our stop loss and take profit. So as you can see, that is how easy it is to enter trade. The next thing I'd like to show you is how to close a trade down partially and then close the full trade down. All you need to do is go to the positions tab, click on your open trade, and then at the bottom left hand corner, you'll be given an option to close partially. Please click on the box that says close partially and then another tab will appear asking you how much you'd like to close. In this case, we're closing half of the trade, so 0.5 lots and we're gonna click confirm. And there we go, we've got the notification, the partial trade has been closed. And then if you go to your closed positions tab, you'll see that trade which has just been closed in the tab there uh, with the exact same reason. We hope this helps. Any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching the video and see you next time.